So now that we've given the WD-40 plenty of time to soften the dirty grime, we're going to start stippling it with a brush. Now, I'm fortunate enough to have one of these, which is a nylon brush, but has rounded ends so it doesn't damage any of your paintwork. But I also still use an old toothbrush, just for those hard to reach areas, and sometimes even a paintbrush. Although the problem with the paintbrush is, the bristles are usually far too soft to clean really well. So now I'm just going to start stippling with this brush. This is the bit that can take hours and hours, and then some more hours. There are a myriad of products that claim to dissolve dirt and just allow you to rinse the dirt away. That approach may work on a bike that is one or two years old, but not on this 1996 blade. In reality, the only way it's ever going to be clean again is if I get on my hands and knees and start scrubbing. Clean your chain at this point too. Keep spinning the rear wheel to make sure you've covered it all. Don't worry if the bike doesn't look clean at all yet. That's only going to happen once we've hosed the degreaser off later. One important point with WD-40 to note. If your exhaust has been painted with cheap, heat-proof paint, you may well find it comes off whilst you're brushing the WD-40 in. So if you don't want the aggravation, avoid the exhaust completely or be prepared to touch it up. We're going to change the exhaust for a stainless steel item, so I'm not too concerned. OK, so because this bike is so filthy, I'm going to take the back wheel out so I can get into the suspension linkages and the inside of the swinging arm. Right, it's miles easier to clean the back wheel once it's off the bike. It also means we can take the rear sprocket assembly off and clean that. WD-40 and a brush, give it a good scrub as brake dust takes some getting off. Be careful not to get too much on the tyre, of course. Then spray on some oil-based degreaser, rinse it off and leave it to dry. It's amazing just how much dirt is hidden when the rear wheel is in place. If you're a cleaning freak like me, you'll love the feeling of hitting yet more pure seams of grime. Yes, I am sad. And all this brushing is starting to pay off. Just watch these gratuitous shots of WD-40 dissolving dirt. In the words of Barry Scott, Dang, the dirt is gone! Moving on to the oil-based degreaser now, I'm going to leave the rear wheel off so I can carry on cleaning inside the swinging arm and the suspension linkages. Because we've already unstuck most of the oily grime, the purpose of the oil-based degreaser is to get rid of the WD-40. Just a quick point here on the difference between oil and water-based degreasers. Oil-based ones are pretty much all flammable, whereas water-based ones aren't. Be very careful which degreasers you pick, as some have been known to dissolve plastic parts if they're left on them for too long. I'm sticking almost exclusively with Autoglim stuff. It's not cheap, but I know it won't damage my bike. That said, I'm still avoiding spraying the chain with this degreaser to keep my O-rings protected. Now, it's at this point you really notice what you've missed. So get your brush out again, keep working, spraying, working, spraying until you get it really clean. Now at this point I'm going to use this nylon pad but only in a very few places on the hard chrome of the fork stanchions and on unlacquered alloy parts. If your stanchions have got any form of colour plating don't use a scourer, use a sponge and elbow grease. Because my stanchions have a few tiny spots of corrosion on them the scourer will take them off and make my fork seals last longer. The paint on my fork bottoms is knackered already so using a scourer isn't going to make them any worse. Now the bike is covered in degreaser, I'm going to put the back wheel back in so I can move the bike off the cardboard and dispose of it, ready for power washing. Pressure washers are dead handy for doing this job. This one costs less than £30 and is just fine for my purposes. In theory, it isn't powerful enough to force its way past the O-rings, but I still turn the nozzle off full blast when I'm doing the chain, just to make sure. Remember to keep changing position and get down nice and low to make sure you get everywhere. Also, don't forget that pressure washers will take off loose paint, so be very, very careful. I just leave any bodywork for the normal hose.